Hi, I'm Maddie Zeman, and I'm delighted to show you how my family and I found the Globe of Magellan in this summer's challenge, which related to classic novels. At the beginning of each week's video, there were red letter clues designed to help us solve the puzzle. The word riddle pointed us to the following poem hidden within the videos, which needed to be decoded using the brain chase decoder ring. One novel emerges from four, it's pages you'll need to explore, and then you'll take a listen, you might hear it glisten. The other encoded words in the first sets of videos gave us the authors and a description of one of their works, which when combined with visual clues pointed to four novels, Walden, The Scarlet Letter, The Crucible, and Tales of Jazz Age. The red letter clue of settings prompted us to the map of settings of these classic novels, giving us when drawn together made an arrow pointing from the US to Europe. We always love drawing things on Google Earth. The hidden latitude and longitude and picture of an empty frame pointed us to this fellow statue, Oscar Wilde, in his classic novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray. A distance in kilometers a picture of a book with the dates 1903 to 1915 and the red letter clues of author and books gave us the information we needed to look at the 1915 edition of Call of the Wild written by Jack London. London, of course, is the setting of the picture by Dorian Gray. The next set of the hunt involved a book cipher. We went to each page, paragraph, and word of the Call of the Wild and in each case we found a number. Once we had the red letter clue of call, we knew what to do, but we still didn't have the last two digits. We were on vacation at this point, and so my mom made us stop having fun at Disney World to start calling phone numbers until we found the right one. When we heard what sounded like Morse code when we called 866-326-4622, we were excited to think we found the right one. Thanks to an app and a little bit of help with the settings, we deciphered the Morse code. Blog password is the first author's last name. We almost lost our minds when we went to Brain Chase's blog and saw the post labeled Protected, a summer puzzle. Typed in throw and it worked. We thought we were at the end, but no, there was still more. The password protected site yielded a word search and there was a label telling us it needed to be deciphered using the Route 13 cipher. At this point in our Brain Chase journey, we were sitting on a balcony in between hotels with no paper, pen, printer, or even a room to work in. Our family gathered and took turns reading the lines of Cypher to my mom. She saved the lines of code off and uploaded the list to a word search solving app. Who knew there was such a thing? Anyway, the words that we found were birthplace, grapes, cannery, mice, tortilla, and Eden. We soon realized that those were parts of the titles of novels written by John Steinbeck. We looked up his birthplace and hastened to Mark Salinas, California on a treasure map. And that brain chasers is where we are going to dig up the treasure. Remember, there's no shortcut to adventure.